Hello, today I want to do a video on a different book that we had done uh, besides our series books on lost treasures. We had done a book called On the Trail of the Benders. Um, I Supposedly there is lost treasure in the Bender Hills, some speculate, from the uh, proceeds taken from the victims of the Bender family, but uh, our book is not about lost treasure when it deals with the benders. Uh, we we're have needing a, a subject to uh, keep things rolling because I was slowing things down actually on the book business because I had a lot to do and uh, someone wanted a project and I suggested the Bender family. And uh, anyway, in 1873, the Benders were uh, apparently suspected of killing or disappear these people that were disappearing uh, one doctor apparently disappeared and his family traced where he was last seen and came to the conclusions uh, he, he was at the benders and when they went questioned they were nervous and so they kept hunting the area for this doctor and they decided to go back to the benders and the benders were gone so they had went inside and they discovered uh, the trap door where uh, people were hit in the head with sledgehammers, their throats slit, and they were jumped down the trap door. They found the canvas, were uh, dividing it into two rooms, and according to the stories, uh, Kate would uh, dress real revealing. She was a young redhead, where the, whoever the guest was could see her breasts, basically. Uh, they'd be mesmerized with that by this young, attractive redhead. Uh, the lantern and lighting in the cabin would silhouette, silhouette their head against the canvas and they would be hit from behind with a sledgehammer. Uh, once they were stunned, their throat was slit. Uh, the cabin supposedly had bullet holes uh, throughout it where some of these victims uh, didn't go so easily. So anyway, apparently around 18 or so people were found buried in the property. Uh, one was a young girl with her throat slit, uh, but uh, our book ended up being a story uh, taken from the newspaper articles of the Times on the search for the Bender family, which was all over the western and eastern United States. Uh, there were people picked up, thrown in jail because they were thought to be, oh, they looked like a Bender. Uh, and so it's, uh, I wondered if uh, that's a term uh, going on a bender came from. I don't know, but I kind of suspect might have something to do with it. But uh, anyway, uh, there were different articles in the papers uh, where this man claimed he was with the posse that captured the benders on the prairie and they killed and buried him there. There was another article by a Native American guy who said they were him and his son were hunting and along the river there was this wagon and uh, the people were sleeping, and they snuck up to get steal enough flour in that for food. And they were able to do this, but apparently the people from the wagon sleeping were the Bender family. And the next morning, this posse came upon them, and they witnessed uh, the Benders being tied up, put in the wagon, the mules hitched up, and the wagon with the Benders driven into the river, where there was quicksand and they watched the benders sink to their deaths and so they said uh kate bender the last they seen of her she was smiling the whole time uh some speculated that the benders did this all for profit and um supposedly uh kate bender uh did this for blood so anyway uh that's basically what the story on the trail of the benders is about it's all the old articles, the search and hunt for the benders, uh, newspaper articles that came out, what happened to them. I think the last uh, article was a 1910 sighting, and uh, supposedly Kate Bender was alive and she was a woman uh, living on the West Coast. So anyway, if you're interested in that book, that's kind of a rundown on what it is. And so take care and have a good day.